before we continue on in this series, we need to take a moment to address how we can test what we have built so far, in order to ensure we are on the right track. This video will go hand in hand with the next video in this series related to corner position or tuning, so we will discuss this now, to prepare you for some of the steps you will need to perform in that upcoming video. Testing your template fairly early is a good idea. If you get too far down the road, and you haven't validated that your basic masking and settings are correct, you could end up building an awesome show that doesn't fit correctly on the home. Fixing everything at the end if it's incorrect will just be a giant headache that you should try to avoid. So let's review how we can prevent any future issues by performing a live preview test. In order to check your work so far, you'll need to set up your projector just as if you were about to display a full show. This will be the exact same location you created your map file from. Also, ensure that the computer you are building your show on is connected to the projector. If you created your map file on a laptop, and you're building your show on the same machine, then connect that. If you created your map file on a laptop, but you're building your show on a desktop, then take your desktop outside and connect it to the projector. Here we are on the Fusion page. You'll notice that for this demonstration, I've switched to using a simple model I built out of spare wood. It's currently 20 degrees outside and I have no interest in going out to use my actual map file. So, I'll be using this going forward for a bit. Let's validate that our masks are mapped correctly and the sizing is correct. If you're using the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you will have to return to the edit page. Once there, hit Ctrl plus F on your keyboard to produce a full screen preview. If everything looks to be mostly correct when displayed on the house, then congratulations, you've gotten everything correct up to this point. You might find that a few things are off here or there. In my experience, this is mostly due to the projector placement just being a hair off. You can make slight adjustments to its placement but don't get crazy with it. Very small adjustments might be all that's needed here. If your projected image is really off, then you made a very big error somewhere up to this point. Some of the common errors that produce this can include The map file was created at the wrong resolution. The map file was saved at the wrong resolution. The map file was created with display settings zoomed in or out. The projector had key stoning applied to it when the map file was created. Resolve's project and timeline settings are set to the wrong resolution. The map file within Fusion was inadvertently zoomed in or out before the masks were created. Before going any further, you will need to spend the time to determine where you might have gone wrong. Careful evaluation of each of those possibilities will usually reveal what the issue is. Fix as needed and then work your way back to this point. If you are largely good to go, and just need to make fine-tuned adjustments, you certainly can. In the free version of Resolve, this is a bit of a chore though. I can tell you from experience it's not fun, but it is unfortunately necessary. As an example, if my masking is just a bit off, then you will need to return to the Fusion page, and make the adjustments to that mask. Unfortunately in the free version, there isn't any way to get a full screen preview while performing these fixes. You'll need to eyeball and guess at these adjustments then return to the edit page and go back to the full screen preview. It will be a lot of back and forth, and this is admittedly a drawback for the way I build out my shows. Do the best you can, to get as close as you can. I'd also highly recommend not doing those fixes in the middle of winter. You might be out there for a while and it's going to get cold. Do this in the spring, summer, or early fall. If you decide to do this in the winter, I'm not responsible if you lose a finger to frostbite. Be smart and do it when it's warm out there will be a lot of back and forth when using the free version, especially when you get into live adjustments of your corner pin nodes, which we will be covering in the next video. However, there is an easier way to do live adjustments if you upgrade to Resolve Studio Edition. At the time of this recording, Resolve Studio Edition costs $295 for a lifetime license. Purchasing this will unlock a lot of useful, but not required tools for our hobby. One tool that it will enable for you is the Video Clean Feed. This feature is a massive time saver, since it unlocks the ability to cast a live preview from the Fusion page, through your projector. To enable it you'll need to do the following. With your computer plugged into your projector, ensure that your display settings are changed from duplicate this display, to extend this display. Then in Resolve, open Workspace, then choose Video Clean Feed. Select the display option that is not grayed out, to send the output to your projector. Now you are able to make any adjustments and see them displayed on your home in real time. This is far easier than going back and forth between the edit and fusion pages to make adjustments. 
you can easily adjust your masking and make corner pin adjustments using this feature, and save yourself a lot of time. When you get into show building in the future, you'll also be able to use this to check placement of assets, and coloring as well, in order to better see how your show will actually display on the home. That said, if the cost of a studio edition license isn't in your budget, making those same adjustments is completely doable. It will just take you more time. I've done it, so I understand the pain, and that it does work if you're patient. In our next video, we are going to take an additional look at creating corner pin filters, so don't miss that one because it will be a critical video to watch. And as always, make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on any of our future tutorials for using Resolve to create your projection effects.